Hey guys, and welcome back to Bad Vsales. I'm Natalie. And I'm Will. And as usual, we went to Goodwill to find things cheap, sell it high online for a profit. We found some amazing bolo jean brands. Yeah. These are brand new bolo brands to us, so probably for you as well. High value and easy to spot. Ooh. So let's go. In the pants section here, I seen this nice anti-slip waistband. If you look closely, you could see Lacoste. And then I look inside here, we got Lacoste Sport. These look like they are some golf pants, a cool little gator there. These guys have over 100% sell-through rate, nothing crazy. I actually expected more, but should easily get about 20 to 25. So a quick flip. 489 into that I'll do it all day all right so I see Natalie with a handful of stuff let's see what we got hold on I got too many things to hold jeez Could Nat <laughs> yeah okay we got a couple of new bolo brands here I just see this in the jean section like paint splatter I'm like I'm interested. What is this? Then I see this patch right here. It's called Cult. And it's a leather patch. It's a nice spella, like logo. And the brand is called Cult Individuality. Uh, clearly, I can't read because it says Cult of Individuality. But look at this. Okay. That looks pretty nuts. Right? Yeah. And it's a pretty decent sell through weight. And they range hold on let me let me we're talking depending on what model this is we got $75 $75 to $20 get out $50 $60 $60 so definite yes yes scatters. and then almost right next to it was this brand and they were together so I'm like okay probably same person we got two pairs of Poom. It's called PRPS. PRPS? I mean, you see a, a brand like this, you look it's, it up. It's an injured angel <laughs> on a crutch. Right. So this is one and then another one here. Okay. Same style. This one had about a 50% sell through rate, so slightly lower. But the value in this one as well, between 50 and $80. It's definitely the same guy, same style. Same style. <laughs> Who did that? A Nike. <laughs> <laughs> Bread and butter. But yeah. All jeans here are five ninety nine. The jean section was calling me. Natalie. Yeah. Natalie. P R P S. <laughs> Good stuff, P -P Nat. I just want to show you guys something so funny. So I looked at this vase. It's pretty heavy. $12.99. I'm like, what the heck? $12.99 for a vase? All right, maybe this is worth some crazy money. Then I just tilted. And there's the Ross tag. And guess what it cost at Ross? $12.99. The same as they are pricing at Goodwill used. So yeah, okay, Goodwill. Cool. Well, you can keep that one for yourself. So to follow up Natalie's jeans, I found myself a pair of sweatpants. We got Polo Sport, size 2XL. These are the Thermal Pro. Now there's, I think 20 listed, six sold, but they range from like $20 all the way up to 60 we're going to take a chance on these. I think we could sell these pretty quick. Polo Sport does very well for us, yeah. like with the crew necks and the sweatshirts and stuff. Uh, these are in great condition. They're $4.89. I love those little tags now. They just scan it. But yeah, a pair of fleece pants? Yeah. Sport? Yeah. Got the little zipper down here. I'm just trying to be like you now. <laughs> Of bread, and bread and butter Adidas. What was that thing on the back? Oh, the Climate Light yeah. or whatever was there. 2025. Yeah. Easy pickings. Yeah. 
some of these are so cute and then we have what the? hey will all right check this out under the coats and jackets section we got an orvis aztec vibes fleece vest look at the buttons look at the pattern i was hoping this was wool oh look at the back that's a really cute detail so this is for women you can see by the shape more like a curvy here size small it is lined it is beautiful but it is not wool it is polyester and acrylic with a polyester lining haven't looked this one up yet but it should be a pickup and almost right next to it is a cabela's vest it's like a camo it's called prairie lightly insulated vest i wish it was down i think this should be a pickup as well obviously i'll pop up the comp here had it been done it would have been worth more this is polyester filling but it is clean always look up hunting and camo gear especially by you know better quality brands such as cabela's Normally, we don't pick up Cabela's on the regular, but certain outdoor gear like camo or jackets, vests, definitely look that up. And this one looks brand new. It's a good size too. It's a uh, XL. All right, what else? What do we got next? Forever 21, no. I was just looking down the little women's aisle here with pants and I just thought Booyah! We got a FUBU FUBU collection, more specifically velour pants and I thought this has to be something I spotted the uh, zipper tab first I'm like what the heck is that big zipper tab? I mean, they're pretty dope. Look, they even got the little corduroy details near the bottom here. Oh, and then I see a dookie stain. But anyways, I looked up the comps and if you can find these in sets, I mean, it's over a hundred dollars. But in terms of just the pants, I could only find listed ones, none sold. And with that stain that I found on the leg and I see some, I didn't even know what that is. Oh, it's a hole. and a hole. Yeah, I'm gonna put put it back. Dang. Oh, I got really excited about that one. That was pretty cool. I thought I had something. I'm like, ha oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so I just picked this one up from the new rack. First glance, it's a pair of Adidas Originals track pants, bread and butter, yada yada, double XL, good size. But then I look near the bottom and I see this. This is attached to it. And it looks like it's supposed to be like this. As in, a person did not customize this. It's supposed to be like this, I guess. What do you call this? I have no idea. I've only seen this, whatever you call this, on a pair of ski pants. Because you put it under your foot, inside your shoe. So that it doesn't riot up. But I don't know the purpose of it on a pair of track pants. I'm confused. So if you know... Let me know in the comments what you would even call this. How would I even describe this? What should I put in the listing? Bloop. Not a bad haul. This is pretty much all Natalie. <laughs> I'm just carrying stuff out and I'm the camera guy, you know. <laughs> Alright guys, that sums up today's thrifting video. Did you know those two jeans brands that we found or did you not? As always, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.